Hey, Mark Nelson. I've been asked by a ton of people. One, they wanted to see where we live on the lake. Two, they don't believe it and they kind of condemn us. Three, wish they were with us. So today what I thought I'd do is give you a tour of our home in the lake. We live in an RV and I'm gonna switch the camera here. Whoop. I almost shut the thing off. Hey, oh, there we go, got the button. This is called an open range Highlander. It, it is a pole behind trailer. It is 30 feet, 37 feet long. Uh, and we won't pull it because you need like a, at least a three quarter ton truck, maybe a two quarter ton. But this was our dream. We live out on Norris Lake in Tennessee and I'll see if I can get backwards a little bit. I'm kind of close. Um, I have two slide outs on this side. We'll go on the outside first. The first slide out is our bedroom. It opens up and gives us some room and the back one is actually our living space. Uh, this is our neighbor. You know, we live pretty close, but the beauty of this on this lake, this is unbelievable. There are 16 lots here. And hey, Bert Skinner, almost reminds me of Beaver Dam, buddy. There are 16 lots here and today, we're the only ones here. Um, that's our neighbor, they put their boat in the lake. We don't do that for two reasons. We have a rocky shore, uh, but we also, and I don't think you can see it way down there, uh, the trees is, is the Waterside Marina and we keep our boat there just for convenience more than anything else. But this is our outdoor, oh, that's our dog Mako. That's our little backyard patio. That was here we got this. I made that stair rail because I need help coming up this bank. My wife's trying to get me in shape, so we have a couple kayaks. She's always trying to get me in shape. Um, and that's the fire pit I built. And I built, th these stairs were here also. I just put the handrail in and this patio is, Mako's like to be, is, was put in by me. Uh, that's our other neighbor. But again, there are 16 places here and nobody's here. Saturday morning, nobody's here. I love it, this is our third Slide out if I can back out and show it to you. Uh, that opens up our living room space, much like the back one did in the other one. Um, a lot of my friends will laugh because I made those stairs and I'm not very handy, but I needed stairs. If you've ever been in a trailer or an RV, the stairs are real flimsy. So let me take you inside and show you. This is really cool. Again, this is 37 feet. We have two sliders in our living space that opens up and kind of gives us a room that's about 12 feet wide by probably 16 feet that has outstanding windows. Uh, and that was key for us because I needed windows. We have a center uh, sink and counter space for the kitchen. So as Nancy and I cooks, the others can be in those recliners and there's our little table. Now when I say I cook, you guys understand that the only place I cook is that grill. Uh, but we have a full-size fridge. Uh, that was pretty cool when we first saw this thing. We have counter space over here, counter space down there, and that's our little closet for our, and I'm probably all, going all over here, for our coats. Uh, we have a nice little TV with a fireplace down below. It's just, gosh, it's so cool. And then this couch, of course, is a hide -a bed and you guys know how those beds are. They are, my kids have been out here, but we actually blow up an air mattress because it's better, but look at that view. I mean, this is what I wake up to every day. I come out and I either have coffee outside or coffee sitting here, and um, it's the view right behind here. Nancy and I'll sit and have breakfast and look out these windows. Now, how cool is that? Um, on stinking believable what we consider our freedom this isn't for everybody but we we certainly have worked hard for it and like what we do and uh whatnot but so we have a little curved little hallway walks down into first our bathroom and i did clean it my wife will be impressed it's not a big bathroom but there's everything we need in it we got a sink and of course your stool replace and we have not a full tub but it's a shower and we see a conserving space. So I put my laundry basket in there. Um, 
it's like a three quarter size full space tub and shower. It's not really a tub, but you can sit down in that. There, I'm actually gonna come back out and go the other way and show it to you. Um, this is our bedroom. We have a king size bed. It, it, they call it a, for an RV, it's a short bed. So it's uh, like, like four inches short of a normal king size. And it, it's close in here, but but it works. It's a that glass doors are our hanging closets. And underneath, I'm not going to pick it up, but you, you lift up underneath and there's storage underneath there. So our off-season clothes goes in there. Uh, the, there's an air conditioner in here, but we have windows and get lots of ventilations. And this was key to us because we live here. This is it. We have a small washer and dryer in there. It's a, and if you've ever been in an RV when you're washing clothes, that spin cycle, holy moly, it will rock the trailer. But this is my office. I, I do two different things. And yeah, I'm in a boot camp. And if it's early at night, Nancy's still up. I, I put my computer on that table. I sit in the bed and I join a webinar that people get to see us. That was Nancy's into horses, so I don't know if you saw that on the design. The open range has a horse on it. Uh, this is my other office. As I come back in here, this is our room. I sit, this is uh, in that chair. You can see it's, I've kind of molded it to my back because I'm so thin and whatnot. I am thin. Um, my computer's there and all my books, and we have storage up above and whatnot, and I didn't tell you, but under si underneath our king-size bed, that comes up and there's storage underneath there. So we have lived in a lot of amazing places. It's uh, lived on a lake where I grew up in an A-frame house, sold that, moved out in the country, lived in a farm in a, 18, a house built in the 1800s, loved that. Moved to where our kids grew up, was in Mondovi and had a really nice home. Then we went to an apartment and our goal was always to get out here. And we worked extremely hard to get out here. We really did. It's a, and we wouldn't change it for the world. Now this isn't for everybody, but this is really where I sit and have coffee. Uh, Nancy will get home a little later today and we're gonna go take those kayaks for a little spin. And I don't know if you've been following me, it's a, we have a pontoon, but the motor died. So we went out and ordered a brand new pontoon that's coming hopefully next week and we'll have it over at the marina. And again, I don't think, I don't know if you can see the marina through here. There's a pontoon there, but the, the marina is straight past those trees. It's about two football fields away. So we enjoy our walk there. There's our little Mako. And that's where we live. Um, 